Okay, so as promised, I said I'd do a video on welding on a cuff. If you want to scroll right in here, I have a bunch of cuffs that are botched up, overheated, didn't stick. Um, it didn't work. Were they failures? No. It was just an opportunity for me to continue improving. So, in the rubbish. Here is a shoe out of the box. I haven't done any grinding on this side. This side, you can see I've reduced some of the material to remove some of the leverage on the horse's foot and shoe. When you have a shoe that comes out of the box, pretty easy to do that because this is already welded on. However, when you are wanting to do that, when you're welding a cuff on, you can see that I have a bevel on here, but I did it in a way that I didn't grind the cuff material away. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a more aggressive taper on this shoe. Be right back. see I have put a nice taper into my shoe here I have left a small amount along the top here that is still straight up and down so there's going to be a couple steps to welding this when something comes out of a mold I am not sure if it's been cleaned or not typically anything coming out of a mold is going to have a release agent on it so I will go ahead and scratch it up. Uh, you can use your Dremel, like I did on these ones. You get the point, you can use your grinder. That is to, if there is any release agent or anything that is supposed to help this come out of the mold, we're removing that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my shoe a tiny bit here so I can get this ready to weld it's back It's helpful on. to have your shoe marked where you want your cuff to start. And I've even found it's kind of helpful to have an ending point just so you can see when you go to put it on. Heat guns, I have gone through a bunch of heat guns. You want a heat gun that's digital. You want one that gets around 1200 degrees. Digital is pretty helpful. Um, this one works well. It gets hot pretty quick. I'm gonna start with the thickest material first. I'm gonna go ahead and weld just this flat surface and stick my cuff to it like so. So I'm gonna heat up this section, heat up this section, heat up this section, stick them together. You will see it very quickly, see how it starts becoming clear. Um, especially where I ground, I think it helps a little bit your weld to be successful and just keep it moving back and forth and it's almost getting to a liquid surface um, you're going to want a nine mil reducer do not try doing this without a nine mil reducer you'll become highly frustrated ask me how i know this all right so then i'm just going to concentrate right where i'm going to weld for the moment and that happens quick i have melted this in half from staying in one spot too long. I recommend you doing that, just so you know. And then we'll go back to this. Keep my gun running. Just kind of gently tap it in. Now I'm going to roll it, and you will see the liquid oozing out. And that way, you know you got the right amount of heat to it. Okay, 
you see no air bubbles. It's nice and clear. Oh, there's an air bubble there, but as a whole, that was a good weld. Second part of my weld. Now I'm going to heat up the main surface of my shoe. Once again, I'm gonna just warm the main, the large surface of material first, so that's my shoe. Add a little to my cuff that goes fast. You can already see it starting to go clear. It's even bubbling in some areas. It's probably getting pretty close. All right, I'm gonna shut it off. And in the same exact manner, I'm gonna roll this right onto the bevel that I created. And if you do it too fast, sometimes I've had it stick to the table and then want to pull the weld back off right here. It's normally at the end. So I give it about five seconds for it to cool. There we go. Voila. So the last thing I like to do is I really want my um, front of the tab and back of the tab welded in. When I get this hot and melt it together, you need to wait about five seconds before you move it. There we go. Done. There it goes. So now you can see, before I hit it with my grinder, I've put a bevel into my cuff, got a bevel in my shoe, nice and clear all the way through, welded the ends into each other so there's very minimal cleanup. And that is one way of welding on a new cuff to an old shoe. Thanks for watching guys.